In today's video, I'm going to share with you precisely what happens inside our body, our organs, our internal systems, what is going on when we're doing a carnivore diet, because this is something I don't hear doctors talking about. This is something I never learned about, and I'm so excited for this video because it is miraculous what happens inside the human body. I think it's going to blow your mind, especially the last one I have on this list. I'm a carnivore. I've been doing this for almost a thousand days. I'm down 100 pounds since my heaviest. I overcame depression, anxiety. I reversed my congestive heart failure. I am fired up about helping people like you fix your metabolic health, find healing and hope, and actually get busy living again. So many people are walking around busy dying. If that's you, you should probably investigate a proper human diet a bit more. In today's video, I have 10 incredible, amazing, unbelievable, miraculous things that happen within our bodies that I never would have imagined because foolishly, I thought carnivore, that's a weight loss regimen. That's a way to drop a few pounds. It is the furthest thing from the truth. Carnivore will heal you from the inside out. And I hear people say all the time, I don't need to do carnivore. I don't need to lose weight. Why don't I just do keto or why don't I just do Weight Watchers or calorie counting? I just have to drop a couple pounds and they're completely oblivious to what is actually the reality of what is going on inside their bodies. Number one, we're walking around with fatty liver. So let's talk about the liver first. I got a couple notes here, but because I'm a carnivore, I probably won't even use these. But the first one is liver. And there is an epidemic of fatty liver disease going on right now in the world. If we look at the bigger numbers and what the Liver Association is actually putting out there, we are looking at the adults of America. 30 to 40% of Americans have fatty liver, so non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It is crazy. We have children walking around with fatty liver disease right now. If you're watching this and you are overweight, you probably have fatty liver disease. And there are all sorts of downstream side effects. Well, what happens when you go carnivore that's so fascinating and interesting as this beautiful snow comes down around me? For many people, within three to seven days, they reverse their fatty liver. If you do not eat carbohydrates, I don't care how much fat you eat. If you do not eat carbohydrates, and we have proven this in my operative, in my surgical patients, you can get rid of a fatty liver in three to five, three to seven days. Three to seven days. And that alone should convince every single person watching this to do carnivore. Our liver is vital. And we're walking around with an epidemic of fatty liver, children walking around with fatty liver disease. And if you have a clogged and fatty liver, which is no surprise, that should be no surprise to any of you. If you're eating a bowl of cereal that has 76 ingredients in it, all of those have to go through your liver. Then all the medications, toxins, air we're breathing, water we're drinking with microplastics, all of that, everything that goes into your body, even that you breathe in, ends up going through your liver. And so if your liver's clogged, you end up with inflammation, insulin resistance, and then you have it clogged for a long enough time, you end up with diabetes, Alzheimer, dementia, you do it long enough, chronic systemic inflammation, you get cancer. The liver's critical, hormonal, everything, is rooted in the liver. There's so many downstream effects from it. And if you could heal your liver by eating a proper human diet, and you could do that in under a week, that's a miracle. All right, that's the liver, that's number one. Now let me check my notes here. Oh, number two, this is crazy. Calories in, calories out. You're just losing weight on carnivore because you reduced your calories. That is the foolish thing in the world. One of the incredible things, and I felt it in my body when this happened, and so many other people have as well, one of the incredible things that happens when you go carnivore is your hormones regulate and they normalize. And if this sounds too good to be true, it's the truth. It is the truth. When you eat a proper human diet and stop poisoning yourself, your hormones normalize. Today's video is sponsored proudly by ButcherBox. They recently launched a new initiative where you can support your local USA American farmers. Support American farmers with this new US pasture-raised beef from ButcherBox. This is USDA choice meat. Look at this ribeye, it's absolutely fantastic. The cows are never in feedlots. They're pasture-raised, there's no antibiotics, no hormones. You're supporting a local American farmer. I get so many people asking me, how can I do that? Now you can do it with ButcherBox. There's more details, including a really special offer if you use the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Now back to today's video. What hormones am I talking about? Well, I got a little bit of a list here for you, and it's gonna blow your mind. 
So your insulin drops, which is huge. We're walking around with people that elevated rates of insulin, uh, insulin resistance. It's, it drops and it normalizes on carnivore. People reverse type two diabetes left and right on carnivore. Ghrelin normalizes. This is when real hunger returns. Sorry for the wind noise. We're carnivores, we can handle it. Leptin works again. You actually start feeling full because your leptin is operating as it should because it's not confused from all the poisons you're putting in anymore. Cortisol stabilizes mood and stress ease and people have this amazing carnivore zen where they feel incredible, they feel thankful, grateful, blessed. That's how all of you should feel. Sex hormones improve, fertility, libido. People are getting pregnant and having children for the first time when they're going to a carnivore diet. It is a return to what is natural. Once your hormones normalize, for me, my major battle with depression that I suffered 10, 15 years on all sorts of medications went away. And people are reporting this left and right. Change your diet, change your mind. Excellent book by Dr. Georgia Ede. You all should check out. All right, next up, number three, mitochondria, the power grid of human life. What you eat gets converted into energy that happens in your mitochondria. Junk in, junk out. If you're putting garbage and food dyes and seed oils and chemical science experiments into your mitochondria, you're gonna get poor energy output. Junk in, junk out. When you go carnivore, you're putting the proper fuel in and the mitochondria, every cell, it's like a little power plant. The whole city goes to work. It absolutely changes everything. What's damaging your mitochondria if you're not eating a carnivore diet? Seed oils, high sugar diets, processed food, chronic snacking, long-term inflammation. All of this is damaging your mitochondria and all of that heals on carnivore. What happens when you have damaged mitochondria, you might ask? Well, your energy sucks, you're fatigued, you're tired, you're plopping down on the couch, you're doing the bare minimum, you're not going after your goals, hopes, and dreams in the world. But if you have damaged mitochondria for long enough, if you have systemic chronic inflammation for long enough, you will end up with cancer. And one in two of you watching this right now, one in two of you, I have a family of six, so on average, three of my six family members will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. Wrap that around your brain. Now wrap this around your brain. Almost every single one of those diagnoses is from the foods we're eating, in my opinion. Believe me if you want, believe me if you don't. Why? Because we have chronic systemic inflammation for years and years, decades and decades. That's how you get cancer. That's how you get cancer. Cancer is an escape from what is natural. You can get cancer from smoking cigarettes, you can get cancer from breathing in poisonous toxins, or you can get cancer from slowly poisoning yourself with foods and seed oils and garbage we were never intended to eat for years and years and decades and decades. So that was mitochondria. All right, let's go on to the next one. I'm getting fired up here. Carnivore energy, let's go. Number three was mitochondria. Number four, heart performs better in ketosis. Your brain and your heart, this isn't some crazy uh, thought that I have in my brain. This is proven. This, you, go Google it. Read the science. Your heart and your brain perform more efficiently on ketones while you're in ketosis, while you're doing a carnivore diet. And this has been the ultimate truth for me. I had congestive heart failure. I had a lifelong irregular heartbeat. I had cardiomyopathy. I had 44% of my heartbeats were premature before I started carnivore. One year on carnivore, it's all gone. My lifelong irregular heartbeat reversed, and I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. I've shared my medical records on my YouTube channel. You can go back and watch those videos. I'm gonna let you quickly listen to this next 10 second clip. And I have had thousands of comments from people that have had healing of their heart. Babies are born into ketosis. It's only once we start feeding them sugar and garbage and crap that they're kicked out of ketosis. It's the human's natural state. That isn't even a controversy that the brain and the heart perform more efficiently while in ketosis. That is a fact. Speaking of the brain, number five, and the food noises, neurotransmitters, rebalance. You get that carnivore zen I talked about. Anxiety lowers, focus sharpens, mood stabilizes. All of these things are reported over and over again from carnivores, myself included. I gave the example before, I like to watch Jeopardy. Before carnivore, I would watch Jeopardy, I'd get three, four, five, hardly any, it's pathetic. After, this sounds too good to be true, this is the truth, this is the God's honest truth. I watch Jeopardy now and I'm answering questions I don't even know how I know the answer. They're like deep down in my subconscious brain and I'm able to pull them out. Cognition, reading books, understanding things, sitting here and talking on YouTube for a video nonstop. I'm not gonna edit this video. I'm gonna show some clips over it. This is one start to finish. No stops, no edits. When you tell the truth and you have a carnivore brain, 
You can speak an entire YouTube video without cutting it or editing it or manipulating it. So that is the brain number five. Number six, we're gonna talk about the gut and we're gonna talk about autophagy. Your gut will heal. I had IBS, I suffered for years. I tried their low FODMAP diet. I tried all of these stupid diets, none of them worked. I was diagnosed with IBS in my medical records, completely gone on carnivore. And it happens quick, it happens so quick. I remember three weeks into carnivore, I was almost crying, I was so happy. I said to my wife, Jen, I don't feel like I have a stomach anymore. I always had this heavy, hurting, bloated feeling in my stomach, and it just feels like there's air there now. It's beautiful. So the healing the gut has on carnivore is incredible. It should be common sense. You're putting tons of poison in over and over again, multiple times per day for months and weeks and years and decades. Your stomach's gonna be ruined. What else happens naturally on carnivore that's amazing and incredible is autophagy. Why? Because when you are on carnivore, you don't have to eat three, five, six, seven times a day like most people do. Uh, my carnivore journey, I often ate one time a day when I first started and I had body fat to burn. Now, when you are burning that body fat and you are sort of naturally fasting, and you're not hungry. That's the purpose. That is the thing to understand. You are not hungry uh, when you are eating one meal a day on carnivore. It's incredible. And then your body goes through autophagy. So sometimes I would eat one hour a day, 23 hours of autophagy. Autophagy. What is that doing? It's getting rid of all of those dead, zombie, horrible cells in your body, those precancerous cells, and it's recycling them out for better cells. It will regenerate amazing things. How do I know this? I'm filming a documentary all over the world. The stories of healing should be front page news. That is why I'm so passionate and excited. People are like, where's your energy come from? So many people hopeless in the world right now, needlessly suffering that don't need to be. It's the foods you're eating. You get into autophagy, it's incredible what happens. The next thing, number seven, visceral fat. People are like, I don't need to do carnivore, I'm not fat. Well, there's a thing called skinny on the outside, fat on the inside. There's people walking around with poor metabolic health and they think, ah, I'm not that fat, so it's fine. Meanwhile, they have visceral fat surrounding their organs. Uh, visceral fat around their heart, restricting their heart flow. Uh, all sorts of issues with visceral fat, with fatty liver, with these things that are going on inside our body. Dr. Sean O'Mara is incredible. He's done multiple videos on what happens to the human body. He's done scans before and after. When you go on carnivore, I don't think there's a better way in the world to eliminate this dangerous visceral fat we have. That's number seven. Number eight, immune system. Immune system. All these people walk, I've been carnivore a thousand days, I don't get sick. I'm never sick. I'm out here in the freezing cold with the snow coming. I never get sick on carnivore and people report it over and over again. Why? Why are people getting sick that aren't on carnivore? Because our immune system, which is downstream from our liver, it's downstream from our gut, it's you put what, what you put in your body is what you end up getting. People are walking around sick with weakened immune systems. They're tired, they're fatigued, their body's taxed. Why? They're eating three, four, five times a day. That requires an incredible amount of energy to digest all of that stuff. Then it hits the liver. The liver's like, what the hell's going on here? 76 ingredients in a bowl of cereal? I gotta process all of these through my clogged liver. You're tired, you're fatigued, you're going to sleep, you're depressed, you have anxiety. Why? Because your body, you're putting sub-optimal fuel in it. You're putting junk fuel in it. You're put, you, you found a lawnmower, sitting out in the lawn for two years, you poured the rusty, disgusting gasoline out of it, you put it in your car engine, your car engine puttered along and that became your new normal. Put some new gas in there and that thing's gonna just psh. So, all right, where are we at now? I'm getting excited. That was immune system. It will heal, it will heal. And it'll, it'll not just heal, that's how all humans should be. We shouldn't all be sick. Oh, I got the sniffles, oh, I got a cold, like getting sick six, seven, eight times. Carnivores don't get sick. They hardly ever get sick. And if they do, it's like two days, whereas before it would have been two weeks. All right, number nine, vision. This one's crazy. I wanna do a whole video on it. When we do our documentary series for Healing Humanity, make sure I'm still focused here. When we do our series for Healing Humanity, I'm gonna do a whole episode on vision. I've heard hundreds of people through the YouTube comments report vision changes on carnivore. It sounds too good to be true. It's in their medical records. They literally went to the doctor, the eye doctor before carnivore, and they took the prescription for their eyeglasses. They went after carnivore, took the prescription for the eye, and they're improving. And the doctor's like, well, this is odd. You actually had an improvement because doctors don't see that. Why don't doctors see that? Well, they blame it on aging. It's not aging. It's just the progression of the standard American diet disease. People continue to have chronic inflammation and glycation of excess sugar in their, in their body, and they end up with poorer and poorer vision as they get older. 
So many people have reported incredible changes in their vision on carnivore. So many so that we're going to do a whole episode on it in Healing Humanity. So that is number nine. The last one on the list, drum roll please, number 10, nervous system. The body finally feels safe again. This isn't just the nervous system. This is, I don't know. Everything we've talked about to this point has been biology, right? I believe we have a soul. I believe you have a soul. I believe all humans have souls. And I believe it is my purpose in life, my mission, why I am here, is to further my eternal spirit. Now you may think that's crazy or you may follow some other sort of religion or whatever. I don't care if you're a reasonable person, just respect the fact that that's what I believe and I respect the fact that you may believe something else. The problem with the world right now is, if that is true, if I'm right, if my purpose on earth is to experience hardships and struggles and make decisions and chart my own path and to grow spiritually through all of those challenges, if that's my reason for being here, the majority of humanity walking around in the world, their body is sick, their brain is sick, their spirit is sick, and you can't fix those. And what happens as number 10 in carnivore that I see over and over again, and it's the reason the name of our documentary is Healing Humanity, the individual's humanity is healed. And that's what happened for me. I felt like I was living for the first time in my life. I was in such a brain fog stupor. When you're in the fog, you can't see the fog. And that is what is happening to the majority of humanity right now. And when your body's sick and your brain is sick with that brain fog, you can't even begin to scratch the surface of starting to achieve what is quite possibly the purpose you're here on earth in the first place, and that is to further yourself as an eternal spirit. And that's what I'm doing now. How do you further yourself as an eternal spirit? You can't even begin to scratch the surface until you fix the body and you fix the brain, but you do it through kindness, you do it through connection, you do it through love, you do it through helping others. You grow through those things, and those things are impossible when you can't even get up out of the couch, when you can't look in the mirror and love yourself, when you can't be a good father to your children, you can't do any of these other things. So number 10 is kind of in, in, encompasses all of the former. When you heal your body, you heal your brain, you heal your spirit, it's one of the most beautiful things ever. I hear it over and over again. I've interviewed hundreds of carnivores at this point between my YouTube channel and the documentary I'm working on. And all of them say the same thing. I feel like I'm living for the first time. And then you see them pause. And then you see the, the wheels start to turn. And you, you see what they're doing and what they're thinking. And what they're thinking is, all this time, for me, 42 years leading up to this, I was deprived of truly living. The miracle of life. It's a miracle that any of us are here right now. And I was deprived of that. Can't go back and change the past. You can only change the future. That's what I'm doing. I'm changing my future. I'm living my life to the fullest. And I am going to spend... The rest of my life, my mission, my purpose in life is to help other people find the same healing that I have found. To heal their humanity. I want everyone watching this. If you're watching this right now and you feel like, you just don't feel like a proper human. You feel off. You feel fatigued. You feel tired. You're sick of the aches and pains and ailments and issues. And you're sick of doing it, by the way. I want to add this before I end this video. You're sick of the aches and pains and ailments and issues in your own body, in your children's body, in your wife's body, in your family's body. And you're sick of it when you realize all of this is happening because you are being bullied and taken advantage of by big food. Big food, big pharma. It's a circle of destruction. They get you addicted. They get you hooked. And they don't care about your health. You are, and there's people out there that'll say, I just love my orange juice too much. I just love my sugary cereal in the morning too much. You are loving it at the expense of a bully that's taking advantage of you. They're taking advantage of your health and you don't even know it. You're oblivious to the fact that you will probably leave this earth and die maybe 20, 30 or 40 years before you should have. And you'll probably be in that same brain fog that you're not even going to realize what you lost out on. I hope this video helped you. If you want to learn more about what I'm doing, I'm filming a documentary called Healing Humanity. If you need help on your journey to healing, we have an amazing membership site, healinghumanity.life. Uh, you can get 50% off the first month right now. We do a breaking addictions call multiple times per week. We do 12 Zoom calls a week. Doctor, experts, individuals, Q&As. We are here to hold your hand and help you on a path to healing. Learn more, link at the description below. Thank you so much for watching. One cut, no edits. How long was this video? I don't even know. I recorded this whole thing. I interspersed some clips in here, but none of this was edited because I'm a carnivore. Beep, beep.